Hello, my name is Jonas Latesh and I'm studying at Military Technical Academy. I participate to Digiland Design Contest 2016. My project is called uh, Digital Low Bitrate Voice Communication Used in Critical Situations. I will try to describe you some aspects about my project and uh, I will also describe you the system which I use to implement this project. Uh, I prepared you some demos, so uh, let's see how my system works. Now it's time for the first demo. I prepared here uh, some short programs which will help me to demonstrate you the differences between a recorded sound and the sound uh, uh, resulted from compression and decompression process using MELB algorithm. So the first program is record. This is used to record 10 seconds of sound and store data into recorded data file. After that, MEL program. Uh, as you can see here, it may be used in two modes. The first one analyzes, the second one synthesis. Analyzes means compression and synthesis means decompression. Uh, I want to say that this is the most important uh, program for my project because uh, it represents the implementation of MEL algorithm and uh, I will uh, improve and develop this program for creating a serial voice transmission using a 9.6 kilobytes uh, channel from a Z board to another one. After that play program this is used to play uh, sound and uh, the first call is for uh, original sound and uh, the second one is for the sound resulted from compression and decompression process. Now I will connect my microphone to the Z board and I will speak for 10 seconds. After that you will hear the original sound and uh, immediately the sound resulted from uh, the compression decompression process. So let's see how it works. This is a test to demonstrate the differences between the sound recorded and the sound resulted from compression decompression using This is a test to demonstrate the differences between the sounds recorded and the sound resulted from compression decompression using As you probably observed there are some differences between the first sound and the second one and now I will show you why is this happening I will try to explain uh, the source of uh, that noise here are uh, the files created uh, by this process the first one created recorded data file uh, it contains uh, the original sound its size 160 kilobytes here the second file created compressed data uh, 9.6 kilobytes uh, this difference uh, explains as the that noise which appear on the second sound and uh, i have to mention that a bigger compression rate means a noisier sound uh, i will try to find an optimal solution as the resulted sound to be clear but also to the compression rate to be as big as a low bit rate channel. Uh, this was the first demo. Now I will present you the second part of the demo. So I prepared here uh, the entire system, which is composed by two Z boards running Linux operating system, uh, a microphone, a speaker, and an USB cable used to transmit data from the first one to the second one. Uh, on the first Z board, uh, it runs uh, a program which transmits data from the microphone using uh, the serial channel. I have to mention that the data is compressed using MELP algorithm in analysis mode. Uh, the data is transmitted through the serial channel. Uh, the channel works at 9.6 kilobytes per second, about rate. But the second uh, board uh, reads data from the serial channel using a program, uh, a receiver program. 
After that, uh, it decompress data and place it uh, through the speaker. I will uh, show you how uh, the system behave uh, using this microphone. I will go a few meters away because I want to, to hear the sound from the speaker, not uh, directly for, from me. And after that, we will analyze the differences between uh, the sound uh, recorded there and uh, the sound played here.